Good morning. Hi, everybody. How are you? Today is, is it the 28th? I think it's the 28th. Oh, sorry. I'm a little bit wobbly up here. I've got stuff hanging from the ceiling. Uh, it is the 28th and I am named these three images that we've been working on, I've been working on this week and call them part one, part two, part three. Oh, it's a bit fuzzy this morning. We are a little bit fuzzy. Good morning, Sarah. How are you? Sarah, I really tried to get people to chat, chat, chat in the chat much. They did say that the sound was weird, which is not so good. Why is it fuzzy? Stop being fuzzy. Um, yeah, so unfortunately, I mean, people were asking a little bit of a few questions. I was talking the whole time. Maybe that's why they were not asking questions. Good morning, C. Oh, is it a little bit better now? Oh, no, it's still fuzzy. Well, I'm going to be working on this piece still. And are you guys okay? Freezing here sometimes plus fuzzy. Yeah, hopefully it's not going to stay like that. It should um, even itself out. Hi, Meryl. How are you? This is the image that we painted yesterday. I'm happy with the results. I'm not sure if the hand was too, too small, but um, I am happy. See, did you have a good time? I know you were there painting. Thank you. And there were some others there as well. All right, I did add a few little things to these. I've still got to add bodies to this one and this one. And <clears throat> um, I did want to add a color to the table. And I'm not sure if I go dark, if that's not going to brighten, it's not going to be very bright. Or I could go much lighter. How are you guys and what are you working on? It's We're still in interiors, so... You can, you could still be working on any interiors that you've got going on. I do have, I have an indigo and I have, I go back to acrylic, acrylic paints. Oh, I've got two indigos. Why do I have two indigos? I would like, oh, a sepia. Now, if I go over this in sepia, I think it's going to be too dark. Hmm, what to do, what to do, what to do. Uh, C says, was fun, but I see things that could be better. The class was wonderful. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And C says, looking forward to April 30 faces, 30 days. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what everybody creates for those as well. Let's see. That one's empty. This one I have a little bit. I may use. Hey Tash, how are you? It is Thursday today. I'm not going to be doing either art hang or. Um, well, I do like how this goes over transparently though. Or visual arts passage because I'm going for dinner with two friends and early birthday dinner so I won't be around this evening unfortunately so you have to tell me how it all goes I will advertise though or I'll put it in my stories that those things are happening with the links um, I quite like that. I wonder if the table, it would actually work in a dark brown. I'm just wondering if it, if it is dark brown. Good morning, Maria. How are you? 
<coughs> Excuse me. I'm really, oh, maybe a white. Let's have a look. Do I have a white? I do have a white. I'm trying to think what I should do with the table. I think white. And then I can always go in between or put some more details on. Um, let me know what you guys are working on. It would be lovely to know what you're working on. I don't think my plan of going to the mm, the Art Gallery of Ontario is not going to happen. Uh oh, this isn't working. It's supposed to resist. It is not resisting. That's not going to work, is it? Is it because I put too much? No. Everything is supposed to resist and it's not. Maybe just because it's a really good white. Yeah, I was supposed to be going to the Art Gallery of Ontario on Friday, but they are striking. So that is maybe not happening. Okay, I wonder if the if it's gonna come through. I don't really like that. Hmm. Look, it just took away my, I mean, it is there underneath. I think I'll just do the plates. I think I'll just do the plates white. Anyway, they're striking because they haven't had a pay raise in four years. And cost of living, as we all know, has skyrocketed. And, um... The employees of the art gallery are just fed up because nothing is being done, so they're all striking. Which means I don't get to see the exhibition that I booked to go and see. But it's alright, I totally understand where they're coming from. C says, finishing yesterday's interior as well. Hi, Louisa. Did everybody sign up for the bunny meet on on Saturday? Don't worry, if you're a Patreon, you will be able to join as well. Or rather, see the you'll be able to see the replay. Um but if you um would like to come and you're not a Patreon, then join Patreon or pay, become a paid Substack subscriber to come to that meet. Um, now I'm just not so happy about how that white went over. I thought it was going to totally resist, just like the other colors did. Is it because it's acrylic and it goes over the top? I have no idea. Yeah, so unfortunately I'm not going to be able to do art hanging tonight. Really wanted to, but two girlfriends here um, want to take me out for dinner. So we're going out for dinner. over these to make them a little bit whiter and I'm going to do the napkins C says have a very old bunny joining she says I have a very old bunny joining 
something joining us Saturday. You have a very old bunny joining you. I'm not sure what that means. Maybe somebody could help me out there. You have a very old bunny joining you. Are you talking about... No, I don't know what you're talking about. Good afternoon, Esty. How is Miss Esty? All right. We have the drinks. We have the plates. Um... We have the bunny up here, which I can make a little bit whiter, maybe. So this is acrylic ink, and it goes over, um, it goes over China marker just fine. For an FYI, if you ever wanted to know. Maybe I will put a white shirt on this lady over here, or guy, whatever he is. I always forget to do white coloured clothes on people, but I think people wear a lot of white, so... I am uploading, um, not as we speak, but I have been, I've started to upload workshops. Please, if you're a Patreon, just hold off because I'm going to give you guys a Patreon special coupon um, to use on the workshops. And then don't forget, and you can tell everybody you know, I'm having a birthday sale on Monday for my on-demand classes, so anything that you haven't taken, you want to take, um, but both coupons will only be available for, for a limited time. So the birthday coupon will only be available on my birthday. And the other one, the um, discount for the new workshops will only be available this weekend. So think about it. Don't hesitate. You will get a discount, so don't go buying them yet. All right. I still feel like that table needs something, but I oh, you know what? Maybe I'll maybe I'll go dark again around the edges. In my original piece, the one that has inspired me to do many more, um the floor was really dark and it kind of, I really liked it. So maybe I'll do that with this one as well. Thank you, Maria. Maria says, have a great time at dinner. And Esty says, I watched the replay of yesterday's sketch. Wow, he posted it already. Thank you. Yeah, how was the sound? I know he said the sound wasn't good. See, I had a mic on. I should have just used my camera mic instead of using a mic that went to my computer. I know that's what. Sorry. Uh, Louisa says it needs some baby chicks running around the table. Ah, yes, it does. Okay, that's a good idea. Running around the table. Maybe I won't do them running. Maybe, should I do them on the table? I'm gonna do them in white so that, um, so that they stand out and then I'll put yellow on them. And I'll put some down here as well. gonna make my life hell by putting 
chicks on and then doing the dark. Thanks, Louisa. Louise is always good for ideas. Mm, I think up here needs to be a big chick. It'll be like a how many chicks are there kind of image. And maybe some springy flowers somewhere. <clears throat> oh yeah, springy flowers. Hmm. Huh. Not sure where I can put springy flowers. Maybe I'll put springy flowers on somebody's shirt. Maybe I'll do that, or her dress. Yeah, it doesn't look very springy, does it? On the back of a chair, a chick on the back of a chair. Yes, that's a good idea. Let's put a chick on the back of a chair. Shall I put it here? This person does look like it's looking to the side. Maybe a little baby chick here. There we go. You guys, I just need you guys to collab for like all the time. The sound is good on the recording. Okay, good. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> on someone's head. That's a good idea too. They all look very stoic. Like they're not very like, mm, none of them are laughing. Maybe on Piper's head, a little chick. Okay, we'll, we'll see about the chicks. I'm just going to see how this <clears throat> is. First, I want to darken this area. Her. And this area. I have to catch up on my 100 day project. I've been really bad. I started like 10 of them and I haven't finished them. And well, I was gonna do that this morning but I'm uploading workshops. That's my main goal today is to have workshops loaded and uploaded. I am offering them as a set. So that will be <clears throat> offered as well so that you don't have to click on each of them and buy them individually so I will <clears throat> I'll put that on my website as well as a set and then you'll just be invited to each each of them I don't know where his chair is gone. Do you know where his chair is gone? Is he sitting? He, I need some chair over here from him. Some orange. I don't have an orange um, indigo. I mean, I don't have an orange um, acrylic ink. Okay, I do need to make a difference between the, the um, table and the ground here. Let me just do it all in this dark indigo. Only because then it makes things pop a little bit more. And I am all about the pop, even though I love images that don't always pop. I like the pop. 
I like Piper how she's very blue. Um, what are the workshops? So the last two weeks of April, I have an eyes, ears, nose and mouth workshop. All the workshops are on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 1 p.m. Eastern um, for two hours. And then I have next week, we have acrylic landscapes and we have acrylic still lifes. And then the following week, we have um, gouache still lifes and oh, what was the other one that I had? Hmm. Oh, I have it here. I have it here. Mm, then I have... Oh, I'm doing an inner jar workshop because I loved our meat. And I thought um, creating some paintings of things that were in a jar, I think it's a really good lesson to really look at color and shape and and try and capture, um, hang on a minute, I just need to put this like this because that was weird. Um, trying to capture the um, like glass and the container as well as what's in the jar. So that's gonna be a fun one. Um, I mean, they're all gonna be fun because they're with me, obviously, obviously. Um, yeah, so those are eight workshops. And then if you buy all workshops, all of them, then you will get the color mixing. I'm going to do a color mixing free workshop. So you'll get that gratis if you sign up to the vault one. Let me get these little chicks in. Oh, I took a, a video of red wing, two red wing black birds, birds yesterday. I forgot to put them on my stories. But they were sitting there in the bushes and they were like singing to each other and puffing up their bodies as they were singing. It was really pretty. <clears throat> Do you guys have red wing blackbirds where you are? Anybody? I don't think it moved over to my my iPad. And it's just on my phone. I would think that you have them. Do you have them in Ohio? Oh, C says yes, we have them. I never saw them in Spain, but maybe I was just oblivious to them being there. And you must have them, or do you have them in Australia? I'm not sure if you have them in Australia. Red winged blackbirds. Ah, Maria says, yes, we have red winged blackbirds. Aren't they pretty? They're very noisy, but I like them. They really remind me of spring. We don't have them in England. And I've been seeing lots of cardinals as well. They're so pretty. Like they've been, usually they're really high up in the trees, but they've been quite low down as well. Uh, I've been walking and trying to take pictures, but it's difficult. Birds are difficult to take pictures of unless you've got a good camera, like a really good camera. Oh, no, I almost went over the, the bird's head.
Meryl, what are you working on today? I know Meryl's working on something. Just don't know what she's working on. Okay, two chi I really like the chicks. That's such a good idea. Thank you. Meryl says, I'm finishing a room portrait club. Oh, cool. Yeah, they were looking really great, Meryl. All right, let's put some over here. It's a little bit messy, this piece. And you should see some of the photos. I think you can see the, the faces. I think some of them need some highlights. I need to work on um, light direction and where the light is coming in. Or do I? Should I just keep it a little bit flat? Maybe I'll keep it flat. You guys doing anything this weekend? Is it a big weekend for some of you? Do you do anything? We are having family over on Sunday. I should probably... I don't know. I was going to get some chocolates for the girls, but... I should probably do that, do that later. And I'm not sure, I was, I'm not sure what to make on Sunday. Last year I did a, a salmon and that was really nice. This year I may do a salmon again. I know that people have ham, but I don't really. I don't really want to cook a ham and I don't think my girls will eat that much of it either. We just have a little, I think the dark blue was a good move. I like the dark blue. That has to be orange in there. There are certain places where it, like the colors have skipped a beat. They've They've snuck away. I have to fix them. So it's funny, it resists with the blue. I guess it's a little bit more transparent. Talking about the red China marker. Or the blue resists against the China marker. Um, <laughs> Louisa says, that's why you keep me around. Yes, for the chicks, for sure. Um, Louisa says, nah, it's a room. There can be lights everywhere. Oh, that's true. And C said, we have robins just now. No worms because of the snow. Oh, how much snow did you get? See, all our snow is gone. It's rained since then. Louisa says, haha, I'm planning on doing some of Dylan's watercolor portrait thingo. Oh, you bought the class? Cool. And C says, we are having family dinner with our family. Nice. 
and plus there are candles on the table that's true but they're not lit yet i've got to light them i have to light them and i do want to i really like this blue of the china marker i think that's good for all that i want to show you look these are my china marker colors see lots Lots. I don't have an orange. Does anybody have an orange china marker? Um, Jen. Hi, Jen. Jen says, I think it's just sprayed something initial spray. Oh my God. Gosh. I think it, what? I think it's just sprayed sprayed s initial on my spray on my gouache i don't know am i not seeing what you're seeing what are you what are you saying i think it's just sprayed s initial on spray on my gouache hmm. maybe somebody can help me there Oh, I've got a good idea. I'm going to put a flower on each plate. Here's the design of the plate. The plate has a flower on it. Oh, I think it's just sprayed essential oil spray on my gouache. Oh. C says it's warmer and foggy, so we're hoping snow will go. I was shocked when I went out on Tuesday at how much snow and ice that we have. I know it's crazy. I don't like when that happens. And Jen says, I just sprayed essential oils on my gouache. Oh, which one? Which essential oil did you spray on it? And Louisa says, oh, they are plates. I thought they were... <laughs> eggs no those are really big eggs no they're plates they're plates they have to put their food on somewhere they just don't have any food Jen, what, um, what did you spray? Which one? Was it, um, oh, and I want to have some little details on the napkins. I don't know where their napkins went. Oh, I don't know where they went. Somewhere. So tomorrow is Good Friday, but we are still having our Zoom in the morning. If you guys are around. And then I can see what you all have been up to. And then um, Saturday, is Liad still doing what he's doing? I'm not sure. I have to double check what that's what's going on with that. Oh, let's use the china marker for the chicks because the chicks are yellow. Maybe not that yellow, but they are now. I wouldn't mind putting some um, red for their legs as well. That would be kind of cute. There's the mummy chick up here. Any more? One on here. Oh, this one got on top of the bunny. Oh, and this one. I'm going to use the red for the legs and the eye and the beak. Eye, beak, legs. Oh, and here, what was I doing? 
Where was it missing? Oh, he was missing a chair. If I put it in like this, and then I can come in with some orange afterwards. I know that there are some legs which are... I'm going to just fill them in with red, I think. Which I can just fill his chair in with red. And I feel like this guy's chair needs to come out a little bit as well. Are we missing? We're missing feet, beaks. Feet and beaks. Or legs and beaks. Legs and beaks. Legs. Beaks. I. Do the people at the back have chairs? Oh yes, they do, but they they were they were tucked under. See how this is one here? I think I need to bring them out a little bit, don't I? Now they are that yellow. Oh, now they are that yellow. Um, plates both make more sense and are a bit and are a bit of a letdown. Ha ha. Oh, Leslie says, love your pro progress on this piece. Thank you. Sarah says, could be quail legs. These quail legs, those are massive. Those are... quail legs are little, guys. Quail legs are teeny. I don't know what kind of quail legs you're eating. Massive ones, obviously. You know what I don't like about the China markers is that they're not very precise. I mean, I guess I could have done this with some sexy pencils or something like that. Okay, so I do have to fix the chair back here and I'm gonna fix that. Oh no, that's his arm, isn't it? His arm was supposed to go back there. That's what was wrong. Okay, I can fix that. I can fix that. Remember he had his arm, he also had his arm back here. Aha, uh -huh. I drew it with his arm back there. Nobody corrected me. Okay, it's okay, you probably didn't remember. Ostrich eggs, yes, more like ostrich eggs. Or dinosaur eggs, they could have been dinosaur eggs. Okay, let's do this. We're gonna leave this arm, but this hand here. Because you can't really see the, their chairs, right? Uh, m am I missing anywhere? They all look a little dark. I feel like I need to add some, add some colors to their faces. And I can probably do that with either neo colors, which are not very precise, or sexy pencils. I'm gonna go get some sexy pencils. Hang on a second. Um, I think a bit of the chair behind the dude with the arm, yeah, like here, that should be orange, shouldn't it? Hang on a sec. to move my pencils because when I was doing the the um, acrylic workshop or acrylic portraits I needed more room on my table. I also like this color and I thought this color would be look really nice on this sweater so I'm gonna add this color here. And 
also, oh yeah, orange. Let's just add that. I know it's, oops, that just went into there. Well, it looks like a little bit of orange there and maybe a little bit here. It doesn't really show up. I need an orange China marker, people. Uh-oh. Pencil under. Okay. Can I make this lady's top a little bit brighter? Tiny bit. I should really dress them in things that I would wear and not in like completely garish um, clothes. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's better. Make some fun noses. I have to be careful because with the gouache sometimes, and maybe this is, maybe this is more with Himi gouache, um, it kind of cracks off, like it, it lifts. Do you find that? Like if you're working with pencil crayons over the top? And maybe it's just because I am working on watercolor paper. I'm not sure. I kind of like this weird face like mask going on. See how it just scratched off? Uh oh. Must not press as hard. Let's try that. Um, what are sexy pencils? Oh, they are Prismacolors, which I only grabbed one. They're Prismacolors. Um, because everybody was like so on about the luminance, but we thought that the Prismacolors were actually nicer. So that's how they came about. If you go to the hashtag sexy pencils, hashtag sexy pencils, um, you'll see some of Maria's work. I think a couple of mine I've tagged sexy pencils, but Maria tags hers all the time as sexy pencils. Um, Louisa says, and in front of the cupboard, just a corner behind his shoulder. Clearly I should draw and stop blathering on in a chat <laughs> no it's okay you mean right here this little corner all right all right all right all right just here i'll put it just there it's not the right orange and i should get my paints out to do it but i will i wish these would mix do they mix let's have a look i'm just gonna see interested to find out can it make an orange can it make an orange that i want an orange that is good enough no it's not as good as that i kind of like the blendy effect like here Oh, it's still blue. The arm is still wet. And I feel like her... I feel like her sweater should have something. I don't really want to do another stripe, 
Maybe I'll do a little pattern. his ears he needs ears there we go that's better this lady I'm not gonna go with the orange I'll go with this it's almost like a gray but it's not a gray it's actually called does it have a name it's number eight 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 two or eight six two why don't they just have colors? Nobody remembers the numbers. I remember colors. Some scientist has done that, not an artist. I mean, that's probably a good thing, but. Okay, and this girl as well. And I like this girl here, but I feel like her hair needs to be a little bit darker. Do I have, I do have. I have a, hmm, I don't want that iron, I want a brown. Is that dark enough? That's not dark enough. They're getting a little small, these. I think I need to replenish. Everyone could have flowers in their hair. <laughs> Louisa, you're too much you are. No, 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 no. Everybody could not have flowers, every flower in their hair. That would be crazy. I mean, they could have a flower print maybe, but not flowers. No offense to your idea, but it's just getting too much, really. Like, really. Let's see. Ooh, I had this orange. I don't know why this hand is so long. It doesn't need to be that long. Let me just cover that. chicken is doing a number in her ear oh I do need something on her shirt do I go light I probably should go light I don't know if this is going to show up yeah that shows up
But I feel like I also need to make the dark darker a little bit. Hmm. Tempted to put a pattern on paper, but that may be too much. Not very good at shoes. Some of these ladies, they look like they've got beards. It's kind of Eastery though, with the little, uh, <laughs> with the little birds. You got the birds in, Louisa. The birds are great. I think, you know, the little chicks, they're good. They're good. I'm not sure what's happening up here. That doesn't go over. Certain materials go over certain materials, and some materials definitely don't go over other materials, obviously. All right. Did everybody get lots done? We have six minutes left. I think I'm almost finished. I don't think I'll be continuing this one tomorrow. None of them have glasses on, which I find is very odd. They are all just incredibly healthy with no need for glasses yet. And some very strange looking hands. Oh, I know what I need to do. Let's just get, we'll get the flame going. There. I think these are supposed to be candles up here too. I kind of forgot about everything up here. And I like the blue, so I'm gonna just fill this goblet or whatever it is in blue. And also this vase. Oh, and this is the... Where did my other one go? Here. The date calendar thing. I hope you all have a really good day. I will see some of you in Zoom tomorrow. Leslie, do you have Friday Zoom? If not, I will send it to you. That's if you're around. I don't know which one I prefer. I kind of like this one. Um, let's just see. This one or do I have the card? Why, why does everything disappear on me? I had the card and then the card disappeared. 
I don't know where it went. I will make, I'll, I'll try and compile a post today with all of my, um, with all of the images. I would like, actually, I think the wall behind here may look good in green. Do you think that would look weird and wacky if I did it the same color green as this? Or should I just leave it? Maybe it's, maybe I should leave it. It's too much, right? It's too much. But I do, I, I'm going to put green here then. I'm going to put green in the landscape. See? In my world, less is not more. <laughs> In my world, more is more. You know that. <sighs> is that it? Oh, a little bit of orange here. And I don't know why I did the leg here, that color, but I think I'm going to white it out. It shouldn't be yellow. I don't know why. I have no idea why that is like that. Is that it? Am I missing anything that's going to be looking really strange and somebody's going to go, why didn't she do that? Just checking that everybody has hands, a body, 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 bunny, bunny. Oh, we didn't do Hector. That's okay. We've got Rosie and we've got Ralphie. And then we have uh, Rosie, Ralphie, and Piper, most important. I think that's it. Thank you, Julie. Good morning. Yeah, this is the portrait. Julie, were you there? Did you go to the live? I can't remember if you went to the live. It was a nice class. I feel like I slowed down for you all, right? There was a little bit of a slow pace. And actually, I when I looked at the time and I knew I only had like half an hour left I was like oh my gosh thank you thank you thank you um yeah that was the sketchy the sketchy watercolor um class that I did leading up to next month's watercolor classes I really like the the um the muse I think I may try and paint her as well because I really like that. Like I would have that kind of picture on my wall. Like I like it, right? It's that, like just that kind of pose. Um, I don't think it's, you know, doesn't really matter that you don't know the person. I think it's a, a piece that you would have on your wall that wouldn't be, the person's not looking at you. Anyway, yeah. Thank you all. All right. Thank you. I really enjoyed working on this with you guys because it was a little bit of a collab. Thank you. Um, <laughs> uh, and um, I will see some of you guys tomorrow morning and I will see some of you guys on Saturday. If you haven't signed up to our bunny meet, if you can't make it, don't worry. You'll get, like, if you're a Patreon, you will get the replay. Don't worry. And if you um, want to sign up but haven't signed up and you want to come, that's at 10.30 on Saturday morning. See, I'm still doing stuff. Yeah, so that's 10.30 Saturday morning. And I look forward to seeing you all. I got some really great images for it. So don't miss it if you can make it. Take care, everybody. Have a really good day. Bye.